Watch 007 as he journeys across the globe, uncovering the existence of the criminal organization Spectre. Let's be honest, everyone has a nerdy side, and in today's society, if you don't show it off, then you're the uncool one. I'm here today at Phoenix Comic Con with all my fellow nerds. Let's go examine the confines. Or, uh, let's go check it out. He was laying on his back and he was convulsing and foaming at the mouth. And it was such a scary sight to behold. The crowd immediately backed up and was in sheer panic. What are you most excited and looking forward to today? Uh, stealing someone's enemy. <laughs> Just, you know, they, they go sit back down with it or yeah. are you going to do it backstage? Oh no, I can't tell you exactly where I'm going to do it, but I will be stealing one. The thing is, once they win it, they're comfortable yeah. and then they get a little too comfortable. You got to kind of break that. Once, once they get cocky, that's circle trust. That's you just gotta reach in and grab it. Not all of us are lucky enough to live out our childhood dream of winning one of these bad boys. But check this out. What if there was an opportunity for all of us to explore and adventure the world of college basketball at an all-ages welcome interactive event? Saddle up, guys, because we're headed to Phoenix's Final Four Fan Fest. Who are you? Because I don't know who you are, but you are already my favorite superhero. Okay, I'm Mr. INO, in and out, obviously. I just basically came to save David Burgers. One smile at a time. Oh my gosh, you make me smile every day because I go to In-N-Out almost every other day. That's what we're here for. Like, we just want to spread the joy. What do you think about this whole kale movement? It belongs under the sea with Ariel. I agree. High five. Up top. Boom. Yeah, you heard that. You heard that first here, Ariel. Yeah, I think I actually did see an Ariel. At the Atlanta Motor Speedway, I'm Carrie Van Horn. Ant-Man is now in theaters, bringing Marvel's smallest adventure to the big screen with an origin tale that features a surprising amount of weird science. So how does Marvel's smallest character stack up against a plethora of characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Now, this is a story all about how Will Smith is producing a spin-off. The Fresh Prince script got flipped, turned upside down. Now I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you about the reboot putting Bel Air back on air. Fast cars and fast food, high speed and high fashion. I'm Carrie Van Horn. Welcome to Barrett Jackson. It seems Hollywood is always remaking something. But have you ever thought about the reverse scenario? As in, what if a current movie was made 20 years ago? We're talking about that today on Film Squad. This has never been done before, and the, the Diamondbacks are needing a thousand dogs in attendance to set the world record. So on that note, on your bark, get set, go. Sharing that three bedroom apartment with roommates not working out for you anymore? Well, check this out. Two hours outside of Phoenix, nestled in the peaks of Prescott, lies the world's tallest single family home, which we are currently at the very tip top of. Let's check out the inside. Now this is more like it. Right now I'm in one of two bedrooms located on the sixth floor only. Could you imagine waking up to this serene view? Let's be honest, everyone has a nerdy side, and in today's society, if you don't show it off, then you're the uncool one. I'm here today at Phoenix Comic Con with all my fellow nerds. Let's go examine the confines. Or, uh, let's go check it out. Baywatch! Baywatch, we're here to save people. Welcome, Welcome to, to Goo Burger, Burger, home of the, the Good Burger. Burger. Can, Can I, I take, take your, your order? order? There you go. <laughs> I totally messed it up. <laughs> this is Miss Frizzle when she took the kids on an adventure to go to the Beehive to show them how honey's made. How is honey made? Bees. <laughs> I'm an employee from Good Burger. This is my movie. So during the movie, I was cooking in the back. I wasn't actually on the camera at the time, so I was helping Otis with the fries. Mr. T-Rex, I don't know whether to look here or here. <laughs> But looking up, who are you? Because I don't know who you are, but you are already my favorite superhero. Okay, I'm Mr. INO, in and out, obviously. I just basically came to save David Burgers, one smile at a time. Oh my gosh, you make me smile every day because I go to In-N-Out almost every other day. That's what we're here for. Like, we just want to spread the joy. We have an uh, expired cheeseburger that, you know, it's old because it's been sitting out because we've been in line, but hey, it still works, you know. I'm going to take some hair off my back and use my tears as glue. What are your superpowers? Honestly, just like fast, friendly service. That's all I offer, but it's enough, I think. Because it's, you know, I do a good job. And you make those lines disappear uh, along with the animal style fries. It takes longer than six minutes. We're not doing our job. Do we like animal style fries? You gotta love animal style fries. With like a, an extra creature on the other. You are getting really close to my face. <laughs> it is getting scarier. What's Woody's favorite food? Woody's favorite food. Your favorite food? My favorite food, because I'm Woody. Honest question, yes. how did we get the gear? I work there. Oh! Favorite musician? Uh, John Denver. And he sings? 
He sings uh, Take Me Home. Country Rose. Rose. I, I mean, Arizona, since we're <laughs> not West Virginia. You were already my best friend, but now you're like my best friend for, for life. Even better. Woody is an athlete. We all know Absolutely. the muscles clearly right. flexing. <laughs> Glad you got your arm sewn back on. So Mr. I know is spicy. If he has to be. If he has to be. Yeah. If he has to get all up in other people's grills. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How did you do that? Wait, gasp. Do you stormtroopers like pineapple on their pizza? I do. Oh my gosh, why do two? Just don't tell anyone. What does the S stand for? The S stand for, it's a, it's a mystery. We're gonna just leave that open yeah. for anyone to interpret. Sushi, skeleton, softball. You know, for, for where we're at here, we'll just say Spock. Spock, I like that, we can work with Spock. I think I'm more Zach out front, he's more like The Rock, but people say I'm The Rock and he's Zach. It's just so. a tan, it's just a tan. I'm Taco Bell! Taco Bell? This is naturally from the tanning booth. <laughs> He's more spray tan. I'm more spray tan because I'm Irish and pasty white, so we gotta get spray tan. Yeah. First, I have a taco, like my skirt, like my outfit. And then, as my purse, I got my 12 pack of tacos, and then my upper half is Belle from Beauty and the Beast, so it's a mashup, Taco Bell. The slow motion running on the beach scene. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Can we get, can we get a preview? Can I? Can I? Welcome to the 39th annual Rocky Mountain Emmys. We're here live, Facebook live streaming at the red carpet. So first things first, we're gonna kind of show you around what's going on. So right behind me, as you can see, we have the red carpet. Any spoiler alerts or anything we should look out for? Or if you can see anything for tonight? Or it's gonna be as crazy, because last year, you know, you guys, there was some build up right here. The last year was so great really? that everybody's expecting. So, well, that's funny because you know, we thought it was a C minus. Thank you very much. Because these get degrees, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> how come hosting the Emmys isn't a category? I don't know. I was asking the same thing because I'm hosting the live stream. Yes. So I was like, how come the live stream hosting is not in the category zone? Well, you know, one of the cool things is we have control of all the Emmys backstage. You do. It might be a so, new category. Wow. <laughs> it's like get a crayon out, right? Or a Sharpie and just write, like, Right, well, show. Um, to, yeah. to Santa from, you know. <laughs> to Santa. <laughs> he does actually do all the Emmys. I mean, yeah. I've got a rusty nail in my pocket. I can just scratch your nail. <laughs> I'm glad to know you have that on hand because I was thinking to myself, what do I do if I need that? Yeah. So, well, thank you guys for joining. We don't want to steal too much of your time. Oh, we're not leaving. You're not leaving? Oh, awesome. Then let's go. <laughs> I mean, we can go all day. A pleasure, Karen. More than a pleasure. Have a good Thank night. All right. Nice to meet you, too. More than a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, guys.